Do you want to change the background of your headshots? Or do you have a plain product photo you want to turn into a lifestyle image? No matter what the nature of your business is, knowing how to isolate specific elements from an image is a handy skill to have. And today, I'm going to teach you how to do that. Let's get started. In this tutorial, we're going to use two programs, Canva and Photoshop. Let's start with the easy one, Canva. If you have a pro account, simply upload and select your image and click on the background remover button and wait for the magic to happen. When I say magic, I'm not exaggerating. Canva's AI for background removal is so accurate, it can pick out the subject in the image and isolate it, completely removing the background effectively around 90 to 95% of the time. It's amazing. Unfortunately, at least for now, Canva's background removal tool isn't foolproof. So in the event of special images like this, where the background just won't cleanly come off of your subject image, we go to Photoshop. Now, traditionally, you can use the pen tool like this to create a selection that you can then isolate from its background. Select the pen tool or press P on your keyboard, which is the shortcut for the pen tool, and trace the object you want isolated from the background. You start by clicking on any edge of your primary subject. By doing this, you create what's called a node. Outline your subject by completing a closed shape using your nodes. Point to point, you can either trace your subject with straight lines, or if you need to create a curve, just keep your mouse clicked when creating your next node and bend the line you just created by dragging your mouse like so until it takes the shape of the curve in the image. Once you've completely traced over the outline of your subject, right click on the shape you've just created on your canvas and select Click Selection and OK. You now have a selection that outlines your subject. Next. Toggle the I button on the left side of Layers panel on the layer where your shape is so that it's now hidden. And select the layer where your subject image is in and hit Control J or if you're using a Mac, Command J. This creates a new duplicate layer of the selected subject with its background removed. Once you finish tracing out your main shape, there's areas inside the selected area that still need to be manually traced and deleted as well. Again. This is one of the more traditional methods of cleanly cropping out an image background. It's great and it works, but it is time consuming. However, if you happen to have a more recent version of Photoshop installed, either the 2020 or the 2021 version in your computer, you can take advantage of their subject selection tool, which uses artificial intelligence to determine where your subject is and isolate it for you. Open your image in Photoshop and make sure to unlock your image layer by clicking on the lock icon over here. Next, select the quick selection tool on the tools panel on the left. Now go to your properties window and click to drop down quick actions. You'll see two options. You can now either have Photoshop automatically remove your images background or select your subject for you. If you click on remove background, only your subject will remain. And if you click on select subject, it will only create a selection so that your background remains intact. You can then hit Control J or Command J, which creates a duplicate layer of your selection. And that way you can add design elements or edit the original background without removing it like so. Removing a pre-existing background from any subject image gives you the ability to then stage it into any new setting you can think of. You can apply this to headshots, lifestyle images, product features, seasonal images, the works, but that's for a whole nother video. That's it for today's guide. If you learned anything, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more essential digital marketing guides. This is Jelly from Life Marketing and I'll see you in the next one.